Okay, so this Rochester Quadrajet, what we're going to do is we're going to take you guys through how to adjust the choke on a, uh, one of these carburetors. And they're pretty simple. Basically what you got is you have a uh, choke thermostat right here on the intake manifold, which has a coiled spring in it. And what that does when the engine cools off, that coiled spring uh, contracts or expands and makes the uh, uh, choke operate. So what will happen is this choke's closed right now, so we're going to open it up. But uh, because that spring, what it does is it puts tension on this uh, choke mechanism here on the side of the carburetor. And when you hit the throttle pedal, it closes the choke. All right. Well, obviously, if your choke's closed all the way like this is right now, that's going to over-enrich the engine, and so it's not going to run right. It's going to run really rough and, and uh, be temperamental and blow black smoke. And I'm sure you guys have all experienced that with carburetors and chokes. Well, to prevent that from happening, this little doodad right here on the side, that's called a choke pull-off. And so what that choke pull-off does, as soon as the engine starts, it gets manifold vacuum, and it pulls this uh, lever down, and that pulls this choke uh, blade open just a tiny bit so it doesn't over -rich, uh, enrich the engine. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to fire this thing up real quick, show you that, uh, you know, uh, how it's running right now before we adjust the choke, and then we'll go ahead and I'll show you how we adjust the choke to make it so it works properly. All right, go ahead and fire it up, Brandon. All right, so this thing's running a little bit rough. Oop. Probably out of gas. Did you have fuel pump on? All right. So, yep. Start again. All right. Well, it's probably a little bit too rich. All right. So that's why we're going to adjust this thing. So now what we're going to do? Go ahead and turn that all off there. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the choke pull off so that. Typically, what you want this blade to do is you want it to open up about eh, roughly between uh, 3 sixteenths and uh, 200 thousandths. So about, about right where I've got it right now. And uh, so how you do that is this thing right here on the side of... Now, this they're different on different carburetors. But for this one, it's a Pontiac carburetor. So this little arm right here, we are going to bend that because it goes against this right here which when this choke pull off, pulls it open, pulls tension against that. And I don't know if I can show you with my finger or not here, but see what it does is it uh, puts tension on there and it makes that blade open up just a little bit. Well, right now it's not open far enough, so we need to bend that arm so we can get it to open just a little more. All right, go ahead and bend that a little bit, Brandon. Everybody thinks that what you do is you adjust the uh, choke with the uh, idle speed screw on the side, which that has nothing to do with the choke opening up the way it's supposed to open. All that does is the idle speed, the cold idle speed. So, uh, let's see. Can't tell if you have that pushed all the way down in it's there. All or not. the way down. Okay. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think it needs bent just a little bit more. That looks good. Okay, let's go ahead and fire it up and see Let what happens. You have to push that down. The engine will suck the blade. Yeah, so what happens, there's a little bit of free play in this here. So I don't know if you can see that or not. And when the engine starts, of course, it's going to pull this thing open. It's designed that way. It has uh, one side of that blade. You can see where the screws are at here. The blade is offset on the shaft, and it's designed that way on purpose so that when the engine starts, it pulls down on that blade and pulls it all the way open. So uh, what you have to do when you're setting your choke, don't just do like Brandon just said, don't just bend that. You have to make sure and push that blade open just a little bit with your finger because that's what it will simulate it's gonna do when it runs. Don't hit the gas anymore, we're already flooded. Yeah, we might have to, we may have to open the choke just so it doesn't.
to adjust it just a little bit more. Go ahead and shut it off. Sometimes it takes two or three attempts to get this thing just right. You don't want to go too much and bend it too far because if you do, then you're going to make it too lean and then it won't run again. So ideally what you want to do is you want this thing so when you hit the gas pedal, close the choke, fires right up, it's going to, you're going to hear it run rough just a second or two, but then it's going to open that blade up and it's going to run smooth. And that's what we're shooting for. What's that? That was pretty close where you have when you pushed it open with your fingers. Yep. Well, we'll try it and see. If not, we'll keep adjusting until we get it. That's how you do it. And you can tell when you have it right. If you notice, whenever I push that blade open just a little bit with my finger, it smooths out. So if you have it too, if it's too tight, it's going to run rough. It's not going to run smooth, and you don't want it to do that. It's hard on the engine, and uh, makes the engine real hard to uh, keep running when it's cold. Typically with engines that have big camshafts in them, this one's pretty much a stocker, but cam engines with big cams, I don't even like using a choke. It's really hard to get them to idle just right when they're cold. And so the other thing is too, I know we keep holding the choke blade open, but the reason is because we've already fired this thing and we haven't really cleared it out, so we don't want to flood the engine. So uh, I'm going to hold the blade open and then let him start it. And then we'll, uh, I'll let it close. Alright, that's much better. Now if you look down inside here, on the side, I don't know if we can see it or not. Uh, no, my phone's not going to let me do it. Anyhow, there's an idle speed uh, screw right down here. That's what you do to adjust the idle speed. And typically you want this thing to idle right around, you don't want it screaming, you want it around 1400. And that's about where this one is. <laughs> now as the engine warms up, this thing has got, got a fast idle cam in here. And what will happen, that will start dropping off. And whenever it does, then the idle speed will come down. And right now it wants to be on the faster idle. Open up that garage door. Just now 
starting to warm up. It's getting some heat in it finally. And as it does warm up, then you can go ahead and kick the idle down. step on this thing probably a little bit too low. It's only idling like 650, 700. Now you guys get the idea here. We're running out of gas in this thing. Our uh, fuel tank on this thing is not very, not very big. So, and we've ran this engine quite a bit. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please ask in the comment section. Thank you.